So this is gonna be a little bit different from the usual content. This video is not about skincare. I know it's a little unusual and I'm sorry if this is not why you're here. about H Mart. So if you're like me and you have no idea what you're getting yourself into when you walk into the store, here are some snacks that I really, really like. First of all, you've definitely seen boba milk ice cream bars, but this one is by far the best one. And at first I thought it was going to be a little cup and I would scoop, but it is a bar of ice cream. And it has more mochi in here, or more boba. It is just creamier than the normal ones. I love this, it's very addictive. I'm editing the video and I might as well, oh, I just melted it a little. To show you how, first of all, pretty delicious this is. So you can see all of these bobas. The other one, honestly, is maybe it has like 60% as much. It's something we should have in your fridge at all times. It's probably my favorite ice cream ever. Well, some pistachio ice creams are also really good. It's really a good time. If you watch any travel videos, you'll notice that there are sweet pancakes in Korean. It's called hot dog. What's inside, they vary, but generally it's cinnamon and spices and nuts. Like, I really can't tell if I like them. They're pretty, they're okay though. I mean, I'm eating them, right? I don't know. What I started doing, and this is only because I'll show you clips right over here. So for the longest time, I thought this store or this restaurant, Lucy's, was closed. But I see that they're open and they have really good fun. So I'm very happy that they're open again. That's pretty much all they sell and bon me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I need another bowl of pho. Every single day I've been getting a bowl of soup and that is just not cool. So I started experimenting and now I make my own soup and I'm proud to say it is delicious. You definitely need to get some miso and what you do is you boil some water after sauteing a bit of garlic i put a little bit of sesame oil also and then with the water boiling pop in some miso i pop in a lot but that's only because i'm making so much and i'm good for two or three days tofu is a must but you don't necessarily need to get that at h mart so i'm not including that here because it's not even where i got my tofu and when you do make the soup, you will probably need some chili garlic sauce. I have one and I have two. I think that I prefer this one. This is the one that you see when you go to a Vietnamese spot or when you go and eat out. This is fine. Then you need your traditional rice vinegar and soy sauce. And with these ingredients, literally, only these four things, you are capable of making the best soup. But what else you can pop into the soup is some kimchi. And they don't even make it in barrels anymore. I am told that this is really popular in Korea. Apparently it's a little bit pricier, but this is best before March 2nd, 2021. So I think this is definitely worth it and they have all the different types of kimchi and it's just, it makes life very, very easy. Especially because I, this is the first literal pack of kimchi I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. And at home, the only thing I ever saw were jars. And 
I just, I feel more comfortable with it around now. In terms of dumplings, because they have so many dumplings, I love these ones the best. It's a kimchi flavored dumpling. You could pop them into the soup as you're making this miso broth, or you could fry them. I also got these, but I don't really know how these are gonna taste, but these are from Japan. Again, I'm editing, but now I'm hungry, and so I figure why not make the dumplings and see how they really taste. testing the dumpling first I'm putting some chili garlic sauce into the soy sauce and the rice vinegar I'm not sure how this will be but it's worth trying <laughs> Pretty, pretty good between this one and the kimchi one. It's definitely the kimchi one that wins You see some meat you do see the leak and then you also see can you even see? It's just it's the worst camera ever for focusing also. There's no light here, so I get it I don't think I would buy this again It's kind of bland, but it's again doing the job if you're looking to just grill meat at the crib, there's spicy meat and there is regular meat. I like the spicy and it's, I need to put this in the freezer soon, but you grab this and then you grill it and it's just so easy. It's already marinated for you. And the only, also you could pop this into the soup. The, my soup consists of a lot of these ingredients. Here is a company called Muon. So I already know I like these instant noodles. You can see in the package that the noodles, unlike with the regular ramen, it is handmade. And they only take two minutes to make. It's decent. I really enjoy this soup. It's spicy. Uh, but what I do is I pop the noodles into, guess what, my soup. Also, I was watching Strictly Dumplings video, and he was, I don't remember what type of dumplings he got, but they too were from this company, and he was really into it. When I get Oreos from H Mart, they don't taste as chocolatey or as good as American Oreos, and I'm not sure why that is, but something to keep in mind. If you get American cookies, you should stick to them being made here. They just taste a little bit like there's a bit of a banana flavor or something and i noticed this in all their cookies it's a distinct flavor that is not not the same as our oreos our oreos are definitely more delicious but there's one more product that now i buy in bulk because i'm obsessed and it's not this rose drink i'm not sure if anyone's familiar with these but Chacha Sunflower Seeds, I do not like the regular ones that are non-flavored. But these guys are so delicious. You could definitely eat the cover, the, the shell, but I don't. And it might feel frustrating because you just peel so many and you end up with little morsels of seeds to eat. But if you peel, you know, seven at a time and you pop them in your mouth, it, it's a bit, it's guilt-free and it keeps me busy when I really want to snack, but I don't want to eat anything that I'll regret, like a bunch of ice cream, which is what I've been doing lately. And I'm not working out, so that's a really big problem, but I'm going to get into it really soon because it's an issue. I'm excited to learn more. It's very fun when you just don't know your way around the place, but my mom does help. And I'm just hoping that when things get better, my ass can get its way to Cariella. I don't know what to do with Lila either when that happens. On a side note, these are from Whole Foods and they are the best pickles I have ever had. Okay, that is it. I'm done with my rambles and I need to put this all back. I'm gonna make a hot dog and but thank you for watching and next time I will be back with skincare stuff. But today I just felt like I had to share this because I was, I'm was i just really clueless every time. And even if I go to a Chinese market or a Japanese market, I'm always clueless. And 
now at least you know a little more. I don't know, but Lila wants to say hi. Lila wants to say hi. So say hi. See you soon. I also plan to paint these spots. We're gonna put up this mirror and I put up a couple of stuff and I made mistakes, so. Officially season.